a decade ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, Kitchen Stadium, a giant cooking arena. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. On a to realize his dream, he started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Roksaburo Michiba. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where iron chefs await the challenges of master chefs from all over the world. Both the iron chef and challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a challenger wins over the iron chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Every battle, reputations are on the line in Kitchen Stadium, where master chefs pit their artistic creations against each other. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If my memory serves me correctly, the number one chef in France at the moment is Joël Robochon, the god of French cooking. However, there is a man who once complained about Robochon's food and argued with him for two hours. He, too, is a great chef. The scandal of his argument with Robochon quickly became the talk of the town amongst chefs, and he found himself nicknamed Hound Dog. And this Hound Dog has dared to challenge one of my men, the head chef of Le Jardin des Saveurs, Keiji Nakazawa. He is a short-tempered man, completely stubborn about his methods of preparing original French food. For example, he has over 10,000 recipes which are all written in French. In the kitchen, he says he thinks in French, and he even claims to dream in French as well. When it comes to creativity in cooking, I can't see myself losing. At the age of 19, he encountered a biography of Auguste Escoffier and decided to become a chef himself. He began his career at Le Can in Ginza the following year. At 24, he left for France and spent four years training in the kitchens of over 10 three-star restaurants, including Trois Gros and Vivera. The highlight of these days of tough apprenticeship was at Vivaudois. One day, the chairman of Michelin, the famous restaurant guide, visited their restaurant. And it was Nakazawa who was appointed to prepare his food. The chairman was very impressed by his work, mild in flavor yet rich in structure. He visited the restaurant three weeks in a row. It was also during this time that Nakazawa worked for Joël Robuchon, leading to that now famous confrontation. It's the chef's skill that makes great food. That chef takes pride in the flavor, doing everything he can to perfect it. So the name of the chef doesn't count at all. After seeing the world, he returned to Japan at 28 as head chef of Isolde in Nishiazabu. And five years later, he opened his own place, Le Jardin des Saveurs, in Aoyama. Nakazawa just cannot stand chefs who do little things just to look different. He chooses to walk the mainstream of French cuisine. His work has even impressed the don of French cooking in Japan, Masakichi Ono. Now, Nakazawa, remind yourself of your argument with Robochon in French, if necessary, and win if you can. If I succeed in making my original dish, I think I can win.
Today's challenger has a sharp tongue, even going at Joel Robuchon, the top chef in France, arguing in French, says he even dreams in French. And we'll have a more international outlook today with our guest, actress Julie Dreyfus. Welcome, bonsoir. Bonsoir, nice to be here. <laughs> you grew up enjoying genuine French food, right? Well, yes, I guess so, but these chefs are artists and they create unique dishes, which is why I'm excited today. Well, we're glad you're here. My pleasure. And our commentator, Dr. Hattori. Always a pleasure. All right, time now. Let's bring him on, Chairman Kaga. ま、美食アカデミーの the hound dog entering the stadium, but don't be fooled. He's high class and geared up for battle. He's talked the talk. Now he'll try to walk the walk. It wasn't exactly an argument. We talked about our differences in cooking philosophies. Yes. さあ、それでは我が美食アカデミーが誇る In the ethereal atmosphere of Kitchen Stadium, making their ascent and assuming their rightful places, the nation's culinary leaders, men who've risen to the top of their respective cuisines, now coming to life, your Iron Chefs. Iron Chef Chinese, Chen Kenichi, Iron Chef French, Hiroyuki Sakai, and Iron Chef Japanese, Roksaburo Michiba. Here they stand, the invincible men of culinary skills. So, so the... Michiba, you ain't no friend of mine. Nakazawa with the Iron Chef Japanese in his crosshairs. Roksaburo Michiba, truly a maverick in Japanese cooking. His skills highly regarded, his reputation unrivaled. And yet, even at the pinnacle of Japanese cuisine, he continues to search and explore new horizons. Today, chased by the hound dog.暴れん坊シェフに何を作らせるか私は悩みましたそして挑戦者の熱意に問じたこんな素材を思い浮かべたのです熱くなると最後には我を忘れて弾けてしまうあの黄色い粒それでは発表します今日のテーマはこれです Corn. If my memory serves me correctly, in Hokkaido, the corn growing area of Japan, they have a saying which goes like this Hold the cob upright. This means if you want to enjoy corn thoroughly, you should hold it not sideways, but upright. The most nutritious part of the corn is the lowest tip of the kernel, the most delicious part of the cob. And it's easier to nibble when held upright, as this young lady shows. So when eating corn, remember, hold the cob upright. 
Tough talker and a tough chef with his own cooking philosophy and more than 10,000 French recipes on file, challenger Nakazawa, the hound dog against Iron Chef Michiba, who cooks more by feel going with hunches. We'll find out which is worse, the hound dog's bark or his bite. Let's get it on. On it, he's in. Bang a gong, we are on. The corn battle underway. Iron Chef Japanese Roksaburo Michiba challenged today by Keiji Nakazawa, AKA the Hound Dog. That's got to be the most colorful nickname we've had in here for a challenger. The Hound Dog out of the pound today and already away from the ingredient stand, beating Michiba back down as the Iron Chef now loaded up with ears of corn, making his way back. Nakazawa seems to be all pumped up here right from the start, already water on boil there. He's added something to that. This guy has come out of the gate getting things going in a hurry here today, Dr. Hattori. Unbelievable. Yeah, he seems to be really fired up mentally. All right, and the corn boiling there. And Julie, tell us, how do people in France usually enjoy corn? Um, soup, right, and okay. things of that nature are quite common soup kinds of dishes. Okay, mm -hmm. and we've got a great shot here. Julie, can you read this for us? La potage de maïs. Which is? Uh, corn potage. Right, yeah. soup. Uh -huh. And sauce au truffe. Truffles. Ooh, how luxurious. Mm, wow. mm. All right. Avec maïs. I, I think now we're in French class. <laughs> <laughs> Avec maïs glacé à la gruyère. Okay, well, à la gruyère means that he will grill the ingredients. Okay. Mm, my mouth waters just from reading this. <laughs> uh, you two are the only ones in the know right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I think what she was getting at there Okay, was... hold on okay. just a second. Michiba, he started writing his menu, and thank goodness I can read that. Um, offering? <laughs> uh, yes, it does say that. I've never seen him write that word before. <laughs> no, that's the first time for us, yeah, an okay. offering. Okay. And, and uh, also summer festival there. Mm-hmm, right. What is he up to with this? An offering for a summer festival. Could be getting into a little something uh, different, a little offbeat for him. And now Nakazawa just slicing off the corn here. Yeah, that's the, the proper way to do it. Pretty quick. Yeah, and uh, once uh, you boil it, you do it like this. If you do it the other way around, you lose all the, the flavor, the, the main essence of the corn. Okay, the challenger, Keiji Nakazawa, still in high gear. Again, it was the other French chefs who tagged him with hound dog for his persistence and vocally confronting others about food. I understand he's even barked up your tree. Well, the, yeah, the guy is a little on the aggressive side, shall we say. I remember one time it was actually a little bit more than a quarrel, actually, but that was about three years ago. <laughs> okay, well, good company, you and Robichon being uh, <laughs> taken on by the hound dog. Well, the man has a lot of pride, and rightfully so, and it shows in his dishes, too. His dishes are always very, very good, very sharp. Okay, and while Nakazawa slices, Michiba continues to write here. <laughs> He's still doing it? <laughs> right. well, let's see what we can make out with this. Well, I noticed it says soup and three main courses, so appetizer, rice, soup, and grill item and corn and prawn grill. So a Japanese cuisine full course meal here. It doesn't sound that you know, great, doesn't Will it? Will we have enough wow. time to complete everything? <laughs> oh, there's the foie gras. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, oh, the slice so is there. Good. Yeah, mm, thick. Uh -huh. wow. Julie, wow. you're starting to sound a little excited here. <laughs> He'll pan fry that in butter. Okay, and now Michiba into his broth of vigor loaded with katsu bushi. Mm, broth of vigor. Is well, that that, that's his name for it, yeah. <laughs> okay, mm. now look at in the processor here, corn and milk. Mm -hmm. And after this is mixed, where does he take it? Well, you heat this up and you've got corn soup, basically. Okay. <laughs> but I'm sure it won't be quite that simple. No, not here usually. It's uh, a little bit too easy for here. And the challenger now, if we can get a shot over there. Oh, yes, look at that. Mm. Omar lobsters. Mm. And already boiled two of them mm -hmm. right there. Make it three out of the pot. <laughs> Nakazawa, he is busy with some uh, manual labor, tying up some herbs there, bundling them, sort of a bouquet, if you will. Yeah, it's a bouquet garni. Very fresh looking set of green herbs and uh, Michiba now coming back and look at this. Hmm, what is this? One of the assistants now straining that through. I think he'll be putting this into a, a finished soup later on, maybe. Okay. So, you know, while you're stirring the soup gently, and it'll help get an even texture. Okay, we've seen that before. Oh, the potatoes look very nice there. Challenger oh, side yeah. here. Ooh. It's like home cooking, you know, like And uh, what's, what's the herb in there? The bouquet. Where? Mm -hmm. Oh, potatoes and... and potatoes um, and onions, right? right? Okay, mm -hmm. he added the herb bouquet, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so all the flavors there collectively being mm -hmm. spread about. Right. Right. Yes, from the floor, Shinichiro Oto, finally, go ahead. Yes, I have a lot of information to cover. Let me first tell you about the bouquet of herbs that the challenger was just stirring in the potatoes. It consists of thyme, laurel leaves, and parsley. All right, now the Iron Chef oh, here, he's slicing uh, his yeah. own. Come on, Asu. 
Mm, I'm not familiar with this shape, though. Is These this... actually come from Kyoto, Western okay. Japan. We've had yeah. them here several times. Very firm, maintain their shape after being cooked. Oh, very good, very good. You got an A plus on that one. <laughs> so this is a cooking class. <laughs> hey, I do you? my homework. <laughs> okay, now here he is cutting away the inner portions of the eggplant pieces. Mm -hmm. Now the inside or surface pieces. Which one will you use? Uh, probably both. Fukuzan. Okay. Oh. Yes. Go ahead. Yeah. When I asked Challenger Nakazawa about today's theme ingredient, corn, he replied rather matter-of-factly, "It's okay. It's an easy ingredient." He didn't sound too serious or excited about it. <laughs> well, says it's easy. Uh, maybe you caught him after the theme was unveiled, clasping his hands together as if in uh, prayer. Maybe a prayer of thanks. <laughs> anyway, even if the ingredient's easy, the work's a grind. And the challenger is beginning to show it over there. And now some corn in here. Yeah, I think this is the soup that we mentioned earlier. Oh, okay. Yeah. Soup? Yeah. Hmm. That's kind of disappointing like a little bit. Well, it's nice just as it is, you know. Oh, well, sure. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But you were reading the menu, and he's going to be sticking to that, I imagine. All right. Now, now what has happened with the foie gras? Okay, that'll probably go in a soup later on, I think. All right, now the onion rapid fire. Like a machine gun. <laughs> Automatic fire, look at him chop that, slice that up, fine slices at that. Watch your fingers there. And once again, you can see how his jackrabbit start by the hound dog manifesting itself. It will go in a soup later on, I think. All right, and now the onion rapid fire. <laughs> like a machine gun. <laughs> Automatic fire, look at him chop, slice that up, and fine slices at that. Watch your fingers there. Wow. Once again, and you can see how his jackrabbit start by this hound dog manifesting itself there. <laughs> Okay, now if we can go to our other floor camera. Okay, right here on Michiba's side. Right. The uh, eggplant rings. Yeah, he's frying the, the camo eggplant. Frying plants. job underway. The skin right there? Yeah, the outside. Mm -hmm. And uh, eggplant and oil, they match perfectly with each other. Wow, uh huh. So this will be great. Okay. Okay. Kuzan? Yes. Yeah, I was hoping to get a few deeper comments from Iron Chef Michiba about today's theme ingredient, but he just said, well, uh, we used it a lot during the war. <laughs> <laughs> well, that response is a good indicator of just how long Michiba's been at this. Uh, mm. Doc, what can you tell us how you Used, I mean, or how corn was used during the wartime? <laughs> Why are you asking me? Huh? It, it was used a lot, yes. All right, tough times. Now the challengers moved over to the stove with that blender full of this one here. Yeah, that's the one that he uh, he made first, the soup. Corn soup. Well, mm. technically a portage. Okay, more like a potage. Corn and right. milk, right? Yeah. Okay. And he added some potatoes in afterwards as well, I think. All right, and in on that one right there, the kernels have been pulverized. Yeah, this is all after the, the blending process. Taking on a new state from now. Yeah, I think he'll chill it now. Chill it? It'd be a cold soup for summer, I'm, I'm guessing. And I think we also got a shot of some raw yuba sheets there too. Yeah, there we go. Soybean curd sheets whipped out by Michiba, and you have these in France, Julie? No, no. <laughs> not thought in so. Mm, not even, nothing even in like case it. where we can take a little pride in the food <laughs> items here in Japan. <laughs> right. <laughs> now the Iron Chef's going to be trying to take pride in the full course Japanese dinner that he's making, and the challenger now. Yeah, the Iron Chef is theming his after a right. summer festival, right? The hound dog getting a little refreshment there. Did you see that? A pause after a hot start. Who's <laughs> on? Yes. Yeah, some rather surprising things happening here on the challenger's side that might raise a few eyebrows. After challenger Nakazawa had sliced the corn kernels off the corn cobs, one of his assistants went to throw them away, but Nakazawa-san said, shouted angrily, actually, no, 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 don't throw those away. All right, mm. didn't want to chuck the cobs. We'll mm. want to find out what that's all about. Mm -hmm. Nakazawa, I tell you, we need to get a stack of towels set up over there on his side. I think he could use a towel about now more than that uh, glass of wine he's got right here. <laughs> I guess he's relaxing as he cooks. Just hope he doesn't get too relaxed. Might hear some serious howling from the hound dog coming from over there, just as long as, a, as, a, as it's a bark and not a bite. Yeah, good point. <laughs> okay. He's and at that, it. Okay, that shot, uh, mm. wine and a workout. All right, Iron Chef Sachiba. Yes. Yes, I can give you the ingredients for these meatballs or dumplings. We're not exactly sure yet. They're made from prawns, fresh cream, and egg yolks right out of the blender. Back to you. All right, okay, so it was prawns. There too. Yeah, yes. I thought so. Now, on the challenger's side, okay. if we can see what he's doing. Nakazawa with the food oh, process. Oh, scallops, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So I guess he'll make a terrine or something. Not oh, too sure yet. Uh, okay. Now, which side is the. Oh, okay. Right here, the Iron Chef. Right. Now, what's this red stuff, though? Well, whatever. Mm -hmm. He's coating those dumplings. Fukuzan? Yes. Yeah, I have that for you. This is finely chopped red bell peppers. Oh, red bell peppers. Oh, okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. Very finely chopped. And perhaps the main function providing a component of color right there for his mm -hmm. festive dishes of summer. Could be, yeah. 
so-called for his handling of corn, which is a real treat in the summertime, the best season for it. Right. Oh, truffles. Oh, yeah, there we favorite. go. Yes, truffles <laughs> as we enter the second half, 30 minutes to go. And the uh, French women love truffles, right? Just women? Well, I mean, the women are crazier about the truffles. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> well, that's what I've heard. <laughs> well, I love them ah, myself, I rest of course. In the case. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now back with me, Chiba, coating of flour or starch in addition to the bell peppers and Kurt Plunk, deep fried job beginning right there. Right, yeah. Mm. The dumplings being deep fried and uh, now mm. this this pan above is this the same thing no that's something different okay are they both from the same paste used for the dumplings we've got to find out about that not too sure but this one was cooked differently all right Kuzan. yes yes these are red bell peppers being deep fried with batter on the iron chef side but they're also being combined with the prawn paste and corn that we saw earlier and being fried in the frying pan okay. back to you you're right then so it's the same thing but done differently okay good that we've uh, got that clarified oh working on rice here Different style, though. Yeah, well, corn rice. Corn rice, oh, interesting. Yeah. Sounds good. But the term corn rice just doesn't, you know. <laughs> doesn't really fit the show, you know. Whoa, <laughs> fire. Get you to oh, burn. Some alcohol in there. Yeah. Wow, the yeah. flames yeah. three to four feet off that. Oh, I'm guessing a paragou sauce. Okay, maybe? paragou sauce. You know, that's that's one of the best, very best sauces in French cuisine, right? All right, now back with the Iron Chef. Oh, the eggplant that. rings, oh. I'm calling them, fried and hardened, uh, oh. act as a kind of bowl right, over there. Right. Yeah. Something that Michiba is great at making bowls out of vegetables or yeah. fruits. Yeah. Yeah. You can't uh, you can't beat him at that. That's for sure. No. There he goes with now, them. Now, what did we see there? It's potatoes and no wait, that's not potatoes. Eggplant. Okay, okay. pieces okay. of eggplant. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Is the Saint Jacques here? And that is well, scallops Whoa. out of the blender, right? Right, with and cream fresh there. Fresh cream, mm. yeah. Okay, and mixing that now. Well, from what I'm gathering here, I think he'll combine this with Omar lobster in some way down the line. A combo with lobster. Yeah, the French lobster. That'll right? be something mm. else. Yeah, I imagine he'll be adding lobster to this one. That would be my guess. Now, how might he put them together, lobster and uh, this mixture here? Well, you can use a ring mold uh, like he's got there that you can see, and you can shape it up pretty nicely, actually. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well, they do have the steamer ready over there. Yeah. Right, so so uh, steaming it. maybe uh -huh. for of a pure job. Hey, good call. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you knew French. <laughs> well, you know. Well, we've got a dictionary kicking around here, but I didn't see you well, actually I, uh, look I at always it. keep it handy, but that's one word I've committed to memory for sure. <laughs> well, very good. <laughs> Thanks. Good call. Now, uh, the Omar lobster is beside it, so maybe it will go in, and this could be the combo. Yeah, I think you're right. You know, with this guy's file of more than 10,000 recipes, Nakazawa's showing us he can create on the fly. He told me before the battle, for a lot of the new dishes he makes, he gets a spark of inspiration and just goes for it. Oh, wow, really? No trial, no practice, which is kind of at odds with what he, we heard about him earlier, yeah. but the man knows what he's doing. And yes, the Omar Lobster definitely in there. Yeah, okay, we were right. Okay, and now back to the Iron Chef side, away with the dumplings, hozuki there. Yeah, uh, those are just for decoration though, with mm. fried items oh, inside so of them. Pretty. And one already yeah. filled. Mm. Yeah, and he's not using the fruit of the ground cherry, just the outside part, oh, just I as see. a as a decoration, yeah. Uh -huh. oh. They're not edible, and now looks like uh, I can see that he is applying some mayonnaise there to, right. it mm -hmm. looks to be a seafood item, I believe. I think it's mayonnaise on crab meat. Crab meat, all right, got and it. And something else maybe? Well, not mayo only, looks like like it's got mm. something else in there? Mm. Right. Probably not, yeah. I think it maybe has some corn mixed in as well. Oh, corn hard could to be. Tell, yeah. All right. We'll see if we can get a report from the floor on that. Kuzan? Yes. Yeah, this is a mixture of potatoes and mayonnaise only. Oh, okay. Potatoes and mayonnaise. Okay, mayo potato. <laughs> now, he said he wanted to add corn to this, but he said he realized that the flavor would be too thick, and then Hirano-san, who is, is on the tasting panel today, would absolutely hate it, so he decided against it. <laughs> hey, you've got to play to the panel. Uh, he knows all about them by now. Any chef has got to be aware, <laughs> keep in mind, of the tastes of those he or she is cooking for, and it's even more critical in this competitive cooking environment and that's an edge the Iron Chef must exploit. And now Michiba looks like he's going kernel by kernel on this one. So he's just sticking them on? Fukuzan! <laughs> yes! Yeah, I asked Challenger Nakazawa how many dishes he's planning to do today, and he said just two, and when I asked him why he's limiting these menu to two, he replied, I want to create dishes that I can agree with. I don't want quantity, I want quality. Two dishes. Mm. Quantity may not be an issue for him, but I tell you, if the hound dog wants to be barking to for joy by winning this thing, I don't know if just two dishes is going to cut it with the tasters today, Doc. Yeah, well, you know, you're given 60 minutes, so it might not be a bad idea to, to really concentrate on two and just absolutely perfect them. Well, they'd better be great then. <laughs> well, recently a lot of chefs have made five or even more on occasion, and right. in a sense, some of those dishes are 
Not so good. Well, the Iron Chef's going to have a full course meal. At least that's what he's shooting for. Well, he's an Iron Chef. What can we say? <laughs> Special kind of guy over there. Yeah, exactly. Ah, uh, caviar. Look. Oh, okay. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Did you say that I think that we mentioned earlier? that, didn't we? Right. Yeah. right. <laughs> Iron so. Chef with that now to Nakazawa's side. So he poured something over the steamed piece, right? What was that? Was that cheese? Mm, it's cheese. It looks like Probably cheese. Probably cheese. Right, I think that's right. why he's got so it in like the oven then. Done. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, right. Hmm. Okay. Something wrong there? What, Giving his assistant some instructions. Hmm. Looks like there's some sort of trouble Yeah, a little somewhere. sign of trouble there. Something not quite right on the hound dog's side. And now he's got his hands clasped together again. Hmm. What's wrong? We've got no idea. Wonder whether he's thinking about it in French. Try and get out of this predicament that he's in. Uh huh. Oh. oh what, what's wrong? Hmm, something's wrong there. Giving his assistant like. some instructions mm. here. Yeah. Looks like he's got some sort of trouble. A little sign of trouble. Something not quite right on the hound dog's side. Now he's got his hands clasped together again. And what's wrong? We've got no idea. Wonder if he's thinking about it in French. Yeah. Try and get out of this predicament. You think so maybe. Yeah. Well, he says he dreams in French sometimes, right? That's really? what the man says oh. for sure. <laughs> I certainly never dream in Japanese. <laughs> All right. Back with me, Chiba yeah, here. Yeah, chef's side, His yeah. corn rice, mm -hmm. putting it down, going to go as is then. I guess so, yeah. No sauce over it. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Looks all right, but uh, not quite a healthy serving in the bowl, though. No, but I don't think a sauce would be used to go over this, but he, he may do something to it. Right, add something. Uh, we'll have to just kind of wait and see what happens, I guess. Yes. Yeah, let me clear up what looked like a bit of confusion on the challenger's side. Actually, he was thinking of what to do with the extra time that he's likely to have. He was saying to himself, I might have time for one more. And we said, yeah, great, go for it. But then he finally decided against it and said no more. <laughs> <laughs> well, seems to be giving it an awful lot of consideration here. He's worked pretty hard up to this point. Point, I'd hate to see him idle the rest of the way and uh, come in here with only two dishes. Yeah. Mm. Oh, look at the Iron Chef here. Yuba? Yeah, the bean curd sheets oh. and some miso based sauce on it, I think. Mm. Now, what about the corn, though, for I, this one? I think that's mixed into it. Blended into the sauce? I'm guessing. I didn't see. Okay, and then something rolled up inside the Yuba then? Yeah, right, exactly. All right. Ten minutes now, to ten go. minutes left, and here, the Iron Chef. Potatoes and, and what a presentation. Mm. Yeah, very interesting. The edamame beans already boiled. Yeah, they're boiled up. As are so. the potatoes there, small mm -hmm. size. Yeah. And with the Hozuki pods. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's, uh, he's going for the season all right, isn't he? Mm, it looks so good. Summer and not mm, in the city. Mm, mm, it looks so good, but just salted? <laughs> Salt simply? only. Uh -huh, right. I see. Okay, and this one on its own, very festive. Now back to Nakazawa's mm, side. Some more okay. butter there. Did, did the butter go in? Uh-huh, I think oh, okay. so, yeah. Oh, making a crepe then. Or perhaps an omelet. Omelet? Mm. I, I think it's probably a crepe, you know, mm. to sandwich a, a piece of foie gras. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Okay, so the foie gras would be ending up right here. Right. So, like, corn crepes are actually quite well known, right, in mm. France? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Okay, now he's going for the milk there. Mm. And back with the Iron Chef here. Mm. Oh, the prawns made into a paste. Okay, the other okay. treatment pan oh, fried. Uh -huh, Prawn paste yes, already right. cooked. And mm -hmm. on top, it's something like sea urchin? Mm. No? What is that? Mm. Cousin? Yes. Yeah, sorry to disappoint, but this is just uh, ketchup and oyster sauce. Oh, <laughs> oh I was way off. Thanks, so <laughs> Who can tell from here? I mean, we're so far away. They look the same. Ketchup and oyster sauce, a bit lighter on the luxury quotient there. Five minutes, Five minutes left now. Mm. Ah, it didn't come out right. Look oh, at that. Oh, man, chucking what that. Oh, wow, I think he must be feeling some pressure. Feeling some pressure coming in here in the last five minutes Don't of the think? battle? Yeah, I think. All right, well, he dumped that one. Mm. Okay, now look at this here. He's got salt over top of it, and when it's like this, I think he'll just be pan frying it okay, now. Okay, and some pepper now, too, so going with plan B. Meantime, Michiba continuing with the plating of this one. Big plate occupied by a couple of bite-sized items, but the visuals very impressive again as usual. Okay, now look at the challenger here. Uh, there it is. You uh, are right. Yeah, the pan frying. Foie gras being fried up. Now he he's chucked the crepe skin. Is he going to make another one or perhaps go for another approach with this? Not real sure. I don't see any crepes at the moment. So he did he stop Fukuzan. completely? Fukuzan? Yes. Yeah, regarding the crepe dish, the challenger decided that he wasn't going to have time to perfect it. So yes, he has given up on it. All right, bailing oh, on it. That's too bad. Less than three and a half minutes, determining that making several crepes from this point on is pushing it. He's given up on it. So what does he do with the foie gras? Well, he doesn't have the crepe to wrap it up with, so he'll probably put this foie gras 
on the corn soup with some truffles and then a sauce over top of it. All right, and the corn is already in the soup then? Right, right, not with the, the foie gras directly. So the foie gras playing a supplementary role in the dish. Exactly. Meantime, the Iron Chef Summer Festival offerings are shaping up nicely. Almost feel like you should have had some of the musical offerings enjoyed <laughs> at summer festivals. His meal to be a celebration of that and a quick scan of those offerings. And that looks great. Now this one here is from the Challenger. Corn to the side doused in sauce. Nakazawa, he's got his own vision for French cuisine. Promising quality, not quantity today. One minute? Yes, a minute to go. The final 60 seconds to get it done. Nakazawa will have two, maybe three dishes. We're looking for a full course of at least five out of the Iron Chef. And mm, things are smelling downright great in here. Yeah. Oh, look, it's on. Wonderful. Mm. Yes, the fried foie gras resting on the surface of a thick corn soup. That looks inviting by the challenger. Nakazawa taking on the Iron Chef Japanese. The challenger is known as the hound dog. His bark has been harmless throughout the cooking, but he's hoping his bite through his dishes will be far worse come tasting in judgment time. Corn battle nearing the finish here. The final seconds are ticking down. Nakazawa versus Michiba, and that is it. The cooking's done. The corn battle is over. So tell us how you feel and how you think the hour went. Well, I knew I had time and was thinking about another one, uh -huh. but uh, not quite enough. Okay, and toward the end we heard that you failed to make the crepe dish. Was that a major setback for no, you? No, huh? I didn't fail. Uh -huh. That was the third dish I started. Oh, that's, I see. Yeah, uh -huh. but I didn't have the time, so I didn't do any more to it. Okay, and so how did your main dishes turn out? Very good, I think. Okay. Yes. How did your 60 minutes go? Well, uh... I had another dessert, so uh -huh. a great one in mind. Yes. But I didn't want to raise my blood pressure too much, <laughs> trying to race the clock. Okay. So I canceled one dish. Oh. But that was a wise decision. Just make it on time. Challenger Nakazawa is offering two dishes. First, warm foie gras on chilled corn soup. It's designed to be an hors d'oeuvre. The minute grains residing in the creamy soup and the aroma of truffles make for a pleasurable sensation. And his main dish, Omar lobster galette with corn. Corn and lobster added to a mousse of scallops. The texture and taste of lobster is accentuated by the corn and liqueur in the sauce. Iron Chef Michiba is offering six dishes. First, corn and crab appetizer. The sweetness of corn met by the slight sourness of mayonnaise. A great start to a festive dinner. Second, corn and miso soup. The somewhat spicy miso soup softens the impact of the sweetness of corn and milk. The decision to add water shield jelly and yuba rolls completes an awesome soup. Corn rice, only a small serving, just enough to give the taste buds of the panel members a break. Fourth, lobster meatball with corn. The sweet and spicy sauce adds a measure of depth, and the bell pepper pieces used as a garnish are also a nice match with the corn. Fifth is abalone and corn and eggplant, a nicely finished item, but not at all greasy. Tasters should be pleasantly surprised by the pairing of corn with grated daikon radish. Last summer harvest offering, his interpretation of summer festivals in earlier times, fried corn and hozuki and barbecued corn with soy sauce celebrate the joy of summer festivals. Michelin Guidebooks, the final word for rating the worthiness of dining establishments, especially in France, where this man trained at more than 10 three-star restaurants. Today's challenger, the hound dog, Keiji Nakazawa. Nakazawa's looking to put his bark and bite on Iron Chef Japanese, Roksaburo Michiba. Chairman Kaga unveils a suitable theme ingredient for this challenger. Just like Nakazawa, when heated, it pops, corn. No compromising quality, Challenger Nakazawa finishes two dishes. Iron Chef Michiba triples the Challenger's output with his set of six summer festival offerings. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment for the corn battle. On the panel today are songwriter Yasushi Akimoto, actress Julie Dreyfus, and Rosanjin scholar Masaaki Hirano. First, the dishes of Challenger Nakazawa. A rule of thumb in French cooking says we can't repeat using same ingredients in one dinner course. But anyway, I tried to create a contrast in texture or flavor using foie gras and the hors d'oeuvre, and then a main dish using omar lobster, so a two-dish dinner. Exactly.
It's very good. The way he intentionally kept the grains of corn in this, it's so very nice. The soup and also the foie gras just melt in my mouth, but they melt differently from each other. So it's an interesting texture to enjoy. Mmm, very nice combination. I wish you'd chill the corn a little more to let it speak out. It's a little stronger in this dish. That would have been better. Using liqueur in this dish is quite rare, isn't it, do you think? Well, yes. Since it has a strong aroma, it does add sweetness uh, to the dish. I thought that would match with the sweetness of the corn. Mm, I think it is interesting and, and rare. Generally speaking, it's like a fish cake. It doesn't have such a strong message, but with this sauce, you know, it really becomes, well, a totally different world. Not so bad, but just average. I was waiting for the dish to speak up to me. You know, maybe what we're all thinking right now is, well, he's a pro, so it must be some form of corn that we've never experienced before. For example, uh, raw corn grains uh, dancing around the plate, or corn sashimi, you know? Something makes you say, is this how you eat corn? That's what we expected. Perhaps that was too much. So in that sense, it was quite a tough ingredient. And now up the dishes of Iron Chef Michiba. Corn, yeah, I used it a lot in the past. So I was grateful when I heard the ingredient announced. It's a masterpiece. Every element in this is harmonized, so you really I first tasted it, I was intrigued by the sourness. What was that? I rinsed crab meat in salad dressing a little bit. I thought that was very, very good. The subtle flavored yuba combined with the corn potage to me is like looking at a beautiful watercolor painting that's done in one stroke. He successfully combined the ingredients to create a flavor that has a profound depth to it. I was moved by this. The sweetness of the corn really stands out in this dish. At first, when I saw the rice with the corn, I thought it was a bit strange. I, I wasn't impressed with it at first, but it tastes so nice. I was surprised. It's like meatballs made out of prawns, you know. Between the crispy corn, you can find the lobster meat and the filling. And I've got to say, this is really a wonderful eating experience. Show and serve now of his summer festival offering. I know there's nothing new, uh -huh. but please try some. Yes, yes, yes. In the previous dishes, you might be able to learn from Michiba-san how to cook them, but the guts he has to serve this one really speaks out for his talent, you know, just as they are. And actually, serving something like this, it's really, well, it's like teasing all of us. Don't you think so? Seems like it might be a can of corn for the Iron Chef. We shall see. フランス料理界一のアバレンボーと称されてきた今日の挑戦者。それは全て自分の作品に対する自信の証だったのだろうと思います。今後もいかなる権威にこびることなく自分の料理哲学を押し通してほしい。そう思います。今日の結果にこだ
Today, an ordinary theme ingredient putting its own set of demands on a pair of highly skilled chefs. Challenger Nakazawa sticking to his guns, philosophically speaking, the hound dog never gives in without a fight, and now trying to put a bite into Iron Chef Michiba, who worked the corn with his usual composure and cool. Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? It's the Iron Chef Michiba doing it again, coming through with corn. His dishes, summer festival offerings, a great stroke of inspiration, and they do the job, turning back the challenge of an aggressive Nakazawa, the hound dog going down, victory going to Iron Chef Japanese, Roksaburo Michiba. Yeah.